yes, I'm not going to be pleased that there may be at least in my race that, or, or, or taking drugs, but I can't. What can I do? You know what I mean? I have to just focus on running and winning, even if they're in, in the race. But you've been directly affected yourself. You've lost one of your gold medals because of that. It's true. But as, as How I said... How does that make you feel? I'm, I'm not happy about it. I haven't actually seen Nesta <laughs> since that has actually happened for me and him to really have a conversation to say, all right, what happened? So initially when I heard that I had to give up my medal, I was unhappy and I was upset. But then I was like, you know what? I can't be upset on somebody that I haven't talked to face to face to see and to hear and to see in his face and to listen to what he has to say to me, you know what I mean? And I have no power over this anymore. You can't get too angry about something you can't really change. You know? I mean, all I have to do is continue getting tested and proving to the world that I'm fine because it shows that if you, if you cheat, you will get caught. Do you have any desire in your retirement? Maybe you don't quite know. You know is, is there anything in there you think so maybe I could do something in that period of my life? Well, definitely. I'm, I've been talking to the president of the IWF. I've been, I've been trying to figure out what could I do at the end of my career to really help help the, the sports. We've been in discussion, mainly him and my agents. <laughs> We're trying to figure out things that I could do at the end of my career. And I look forward to working with the sports because I know when I walk away, there will be a gap. So if I can help to stay and sustain until someone else comes along, that can really help to push the sports and build it, then I'll be happy.